Hello guys, uh, welcome back to one more video. Olá pessoal, sejam todos bem-vindos. Eu vou só aqui afastar esta coisinha aqui que eu esqueci, o meu teclado grande. Uh, so just putting the keyboard away. Alright, uh, welcome back again and today on the video I'm going to start weathering uh, filters for the winter camouflage and of course I'm going to use some oils um, maybe I can have time to put some of the rust on this and then on the other video it's going to be the basics uh, of um, some stuff I'm going to put on the tank and the other video of course it's going to be on the, the diorama the constructions I'm going to use snow for that of course, and you guys were going to see how I construct the diorama. I will make a video and I put on YouTube just to guys to see uh, the construction of the base uh, for the diorama, and we go <coughs> from there. So <coughs> let's go to the bench. All right, so I'm going to this camera right now, and here it is. The fantastic Kiwi 2, this is from uh, Zvezda 1 and it's 135 scale. Uh, for the filters, today on this I'm going to use um, three different uh, filters for this. It's going to be these ones I got here. Uh, so this, this one is going to be basically with oils. And I'm going to use uh, the grey white. I'm going to use the dark grey for white and I'm going to use this one, it's the blue for dark grey and I love this one because we have, normally I said I put on the green um, paint always this one, okay? So let me see guys uh, uh, what you got here Elder, Butter, Zubang, the Brass no, no, Joaquim, tudo bem. João Almeida, tudo bem. Ora, Miguel Cardoso, obrigado. E então vamos lá começar uh, este esquema todo que temos aqui montado. E eu, para variar, não sei onde é que eu pus a paleta. Eu e a paleta passo, é, é complicado. Eu nunca me lembro onde é que ponho a paleta. Sinceramente, isto é daquelas coisas e papel, mas não há problema, vamos utilizar aqui umas tampinhas que quando acabar o vídeo, a certeza que a paleta vai aparecer e não há dúvida, eu ando a olhar aqui de um lado para o outro <risos> e não a vejo, isto é fenomenal guys, I'm just um, searching for my palette I don't see my palette where I put it, so no problems we got some caps and we go with the caps so let's remove the turret on this big boy uh, I'm going to start today on the turret for you guys to see. So let me approach more, something like this, and you guys can see. Uh, the first one I'm going to use it's the the blue, dark grey, and I'm going to use for this the animal ordinance thinner from Amo. Uh, this one, it's the the first mixture I'm going to do. It's going to be very 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 thin because I want this to have so the, just the impression of some highlights and for that let's do just a very thin layer of this and it's going to be around all the tank so I love this color guys really I love so let's start with a thinner I put about 15 drops of the thinner. I'm going to work again with the 04 uh, synthetic flat brush. This one from Amo, and because this is very strong, I make the just one scoop with this, not more than that. So, and let's start. 
with the blue it's going to, to give a cold uh, thing you see on the top I love to use the blue on this when I start putting the grey it's going to be fantastic and you can see it spreads all over the tank now I spread all this filter this filter for me for Panzer Grays it's a must I'm using Amo but you can use another brand with no problems So this one gives you a uh, lot of definition and put this not too much white. Okay, I forgot to turn down the WhatsApp here on the PC and of course it's going to receive all the message <laughs> there. And this for me, it's wonderful. This one. Here I'm grabbing on the tip because the tip is going to have pigments, <coughs> black pigments, and I don't need to put any there. And as you can see, it's so simple as this. Now let's go to the tank and make the same thing. So this is a process if you want to do. It's good for me. I like it. It 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 might my taste. And I never say this is the, the best way <coughs> to do it. Uh, you got here there um, a poll for you to answer what do you want more to see on my videos if you want to see constructions, weathering, painting or just tutorials so leave a comment there I want I want to know what you guys want, like to see you see now we got some more um, cold color not just so white and this is what I'm searching to do on the tank This kills the monotony uh, of this all be white. You see this part, it's very white, so it gives you a nice transition for the biggest. Uh, parts of white with uh, the green and for me <coughs> it's fantastic I really like it I can see here down when I pass I think for me it gives more re reality I don't know and remember this is Art, okay. You can go and put whatever you want on your model, okay. But you know, of course, if you are going to say this is a replica, you are going to use something, some things you don't like it too much. But when you share your works, you must prepare for that. They are nice, they are really nice comments, but they are very bad comments too. Just going to put here. I'm going to remove a little of the pigment on the cap. Mix here. 
And now I'm going to the wheels. Sides, okay. You can see this part it's random. You see, I just put some of the blue on one side and not on the other one. The white I will go uh, <clears throat> when I put the snow on these and we are going to have white again and very bright white. I like to use the stuff I'm going to show you guys. For me it's the best stuff for making snow. Of course some guys like another things but for me it's what I like. So. You see, the white is done. Don't forget to close this. You don't want to spread. Now let's just clean cap and I can use it again. The stuff I like to use it's in uh, on the big pot or in a small pot, it's this one from Vallejo. Uh, <clears throat> this snow it's really 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 awesome guys and this I put with the, uh, with the brush on the sides on um, where I want and it believe it it's going to be fantastic so again <laughs> we had we go to the dryer On the wheel, too. Now let's go to the color. Olá Carlos, tudo bem? Tudo está a aplicar. Uh, Carlos, o que estou a utilizar é o azul. Blue for dark grey. Ah, vamos seguir. Done. So the next one I'm going to use we got here uh, the dark and and only the gray so it's different colors but I'm going to start with these because I want some definition in some areas uh, so it's like uh, the first um, pin wash but it's not a pin wash okay. Now just clean this, shake it and we are going again. Okay, now I put 20 drops of this 
and I will scoop uh, about four of the brush with this. Right, this one. Okay, let's mix this. Remember the filters, it's uh, like you are painting, you put uh, paint on the top, but this is very, 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 very thin. It's make like uh, when you do the, on the Photoshop. So let's put the gray. I know sometimes you see these parts and you don't have too much. Uh, you think, oh, you, you, it, it's not you not uh, not make a big difference, and believe it, it makes. So we don't want excess on this, just want to put the filter there. Okay, now it's wet, I'm going with this, grab a little from the bottom, and I will touch in some areas, just to make like the first Clean wash there. It's going to leave marks on this. Okay, this is the turret, it's done. So this is why sometimes some guys asking how I do it, how you do for have that colors and patterns and I explain like these guys. It's very simple. If you make breads and you don't leave that time for the dough to grow, it's not going to be big stuff. You see the difference here, the gray, and for this part I don't I don't put it yet. Now it's with this I am making shadows. Then when I go with the oils, some part it's going to F the white and we are all going to bring the white again to the tank. It's giving that cold stuff here. And you see, this is so simple. Thank you. 
Okay, this one it's done, so let's grab can in what? Yeah, dryer. Sim, Miguel, estes filtros são todos à base de óleo. Now I'm going to grab again on this mix and I'm not going to make any mix of this and I can just go with the brush directly on the wheels. I want this to be more dark so this is a more, more dark area. And I go to in the interior. Now we can do this in many ways. You can deal with snow and mud at the same time. It's up to you. I'm just going to more pure uh, snow on this model. And you see how this is turning a little grey. And this is at the moment what I want to start appearing. It's grey. Now it's going to dry by itself and I will start with the white. Okay, then with this, let's close this. Now I will need uh, another cap. It's the same cap, I'm just going to clean. Let me see. Hello Bill, how are you? Today it's night there. <laughs> Hey, yes, it's true, it's true. So, let's grab the brush and now let's present for you guys the white. And I will use the other brushes, the white one, for come on and 
bring the white here so I'm just going to need some of the thinner just let's check this really quickly and you came here okay now be very when you are doing with white you must be careful because this is a st it's very strong so I'm just going to work in some areas And if you see the video of yesterday, it's kind of the same thing of fading. And we are going to start showing the white. Now let's bring the bright on this. Like this. So let's decent thinner, remove almost the excess and start working the white. So I just make like this tabbing. Here I make a mistake, okay? What I do, I put uh, a little ear, ear, ear and ear. What this do, it makes a pattern and we don't want a pattern. So let's remove this one, almost. And let's put the white on this. It's very important you guys don't make any patterns on this because it's a little ugly. I can go with more, I want more in some areas. It's very important you not to leave any um, marks of the brushes. And just like this, you see? So yeah, just a little there, I can go with more. Two. Let's put some white there. Don't try to go on the recess because you don't want that. Because this is going to put some uh, let me remember the word guys <laughs> it's not going to be flat when you are going to put here 
the pinot washes it's going to be really 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 fantastic let me see boa tarde Carlos tudo bem grande abraço so this is that this works too but this is going to make a fantastic work here believe it now it's drying you see the aspect on this and you put more when you see it's going to have more snow so this step it's going to help you a lot when we are putting snow on the tank yes I am liking yep and don't forget if you put too much you just go with the thinner and remove what you don't want Here I'm spreading almost without any thinner. here on these little things here and we are almost have like snow <clears throat> if you don't see the video of uh, I do today uh, you can see again on Facebook or on the YouTube and it was painting the tracks of the E15 so you guys have an how normally I do and the colors I like to use to make that so now you can see the difference from the back for the front just with uh, the oils it's really simple now just a little of tomato juice
Obrigado, Carlos. Um grande abraço. Ángel, ¿cómo estás? Y muchas gracias por estar siguiendo mi, mis trabajos. You can see it spreads really nice. So this is all flat at the moment, but it's going with the gray, with the mixtures with the gray and the blue, uh, gives you uh, the impression it's really snow. When you are, when I'm going to put the snow on the top of this, it's going to be fantastic, guys. Believe it. Here, I just want to put a little more white. It's a point, center point. Bring some white for here and here too. So I'll just dab. Uh, yes. So let's start working uh, on. Continue working on here. So if you like to <coughs> take pictures from uh, <clears throat> this kind of models with the snow, uh, it's good to take on a dark with dark, okay, it's not, not too much light, it's going to be more realistic when you do that photos. And, and what the thing is I like to do is to grab uh, this kind of model. This is a, a cheap model, guys. This, this is from Sved, it's about 30 euros. And when you use one of these kind of models and makes a really nice thing, it's really satisfactory for us. Now we're getting starting to have texture on this because of the oil. Some parts I leave a little more thick, and you are seeing I'm not using almost any thinner. Just when I see the the brush, it's very stiff. So let's dip again this, and we got more fresh. So work in very areas when you are doing uh, like one panel like this one. I'm going to spread all of these. Ooh. 
Oops, here two. There inside two. Now I'm going to stiff a little ear and clean almost the thinner. There And now I want more snow here, so this is the front. This one, this slope here, it's put a lot. Here we got this recess. Normally, this recess have some of the snow accumulated there. So just spread and then push a little to the top. Okay, you see it's so 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 simple. More white on this edge. And you see I just doing one side. It's more realistic that way. Now I'm going to grab a little ear and like a dry brush all over these vents. And believe it now is this have lots of texture at the moment on the tank. So the areas I want more bright. I go again, spread and with the snow from Vallejo it's going to be that big tufts there and you see I'm working in not only always in the same area <coughs> because I don't want to make a pattern of this okay I'm really liking this Here on the sides, I will put a little more there. Okay. 
and this is the first coat of the white because I'm going to put here some dust on this You see the skirt? You have this little slow ear. You just bring a little more of the white. And it's easy, you can see. Okay, now let's stop working on this and let's start working on this one. So I will close again the white and I'm going to shake it because I want this to be again nice. So let me see you guys. Robinson Buenas tardes Como estas? Ok So You can see now if I put here A turret You see a big difference Ok Of the white And believe it, when I touch We feel All that texture Alright and with, when I go with this, it's going to pop up all the things, and it's you, it's like you have that um, mud mixture with the uh, with the snow, and it's really really good. So now let's open this and start working on the edges. This side more for that side here. This here we got to put. Okay, so first we work on these areas. And start spreading. So the first coat never do a great white but when it start to dry it makes all the difference so working areas I can pull some of the white here too Now it's time to remove the excess and start dabbing and with this process it starts to make what we want the effect. Here I have too much, I just pull, pull, pull and now dab. Oops, let's put more on this edge. We want, we want more white here.
now you are seeing the difference now a little thinner here spread this a little So when is this starts to um, to dry, we got texture and it's more easier to go again. So I can do like this and make the effect nice. it now let's work on the areas we have the white and not the green Let's put some white here. Okay, I have oil all over the place. <laughs> and one of the things I like is the smell of the oils, guys. I grow with my father painting oil canvas, and this is the smell for me on the Sunday morning with my dad painting. And I don't forget that, guys. That is memories. <laughs> and I am very happy because of my daughter. My daughter likes a lot to paint too. And uh, normally, he steal my stuff. <laughs> Lots of my brushes, my brushes. Um, uh, <coughs> The oils he steals. The good thing, if you want then later to put this more dark, if you want, you just go make, you can put a varnish coat on this and put some filters again, so it's up to you guys. And yes, you can varnish this. Okay, I think it's starting to get... The difference from the side and from the top, it's huge, you guys. It's huge. Uh, let me see. Olá, José. Morning, tudo bem? Nas laterais da torre também leva, lógico. Acento aí similar o gelo. Sim, sim, sim. Sim, Carlos, também leva. So, a little more oil. E vou já atrás, so let's go here for the side and again working around the letters first. 
you just clean here this and you see how it stings <laughs> so careful using these guys so let's start spreading this Now let's try to approach more of this. Now you see I'm spreading for the inside. You see I'm giving more um, bright color here. Spreading. And give this aspect on the turret. We are working on now on the sides. Now, just a little touches on some parts of the letters. and give you texture You see it's coming out the letters. Just do a little dab there. And it's done. Now I'm just going to put some here, here, here. A little thinner. Move excess. Now let's pull. Here for me it's too green. Now here just like this. I'm not, not going to use the brush 
I'm going to leave like this. So, as you can see, now you can see here the top and you can see the back. It's uh, it's not like this. It don't uh, seems real. Oh, more oil. And let's stop. Let's start putting white here. You see. On the edges, let's cut like this, and let's start spreading this. Now let's put like in this way and you can see where it's more bright because of the snow, the deposit of snow. And we can use the oils for make these effects. Okay. It's just a little damp. And here I'm going to spray it and pull. I just need a little here. Too much green for me. Yes, much better. Oh, yes. And it's starting to get... You see the difference for the gun barrel? I think it's like... And when you touch... Let me try to see if you see... You listen to the sound. You, you hear the texture. And that's what we want. It's texture on this. To simulate all the... Um, the snow. So now let's go again on this. On this side too. around the edges and let's mix this If you have patience, this is going to mix. Now, just in 
Marius. Spreads. And pull. Okay. It just fade very soft. Simple as this. Now let's start working around here. Down and for the inside, it makes a fantastic effect. Okay, let's pull some here for the gun barrel. To the other side, you see the difference of here for this side. I hope you guys enjoy that. Sorry, I cannot answer now. So many messages. You see, really awesome. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do on this video is to put on the wheels and you can see the difference. Now it's almost dry, uh, for the touch it's dry, but it needs still uh, work. You see I have here a little thinner there, so this and let's go and put some white 
on the wheel still. start working on the wheels you see the effect here really good you just spread a little random not too much work there Okay, now a little on the inside, some big blobs. And let's spread at random. Careful with the random to not leave the, uh, the mark of the bristles. It's not a nice thing to see. Okay, you can see. You are seeing this part. Now let's flip. It's completely different, yes. <laughs> okay, now let's go again. I need more stuff. No, first the wheels, then I will go on the inside. You can do this really nice with uh, artist uh, oils. Uh, and for this it's the titanium white if you if you use uh, oils buy the nice stuff don't go and buy that really cheap ones it's not good and it it's never get a real nice result and believe it I try it normally I see some brands some oils and watercolors uh, like a lot of watercolors and I buy to to try and the chips ones never are good because of the pigments and if you are using uh, oils, the artist oils, you need a uh, secative to, to put there to dry really quickly. Okay, so it's done. So let's do not like this, like this, and put the turret. Okay, always struggling with the turrets. There. And as you can see, I think it's nice. <coughs> Guys, if you have questions, just ask me, alright? And I will try to answer, of course, if I know. So, uh, let's go. 
uh, where it is my mouse right here okay again so it's done um, the filters and the, the first of the white so I pull up all this white with the uh, oils the next step I'm going to do this it's some uh, rust a little rust and make the dust and dirt and all, all over the tank okay it accumulates around the, the edges all the tool boxes and, and, and that things and that it's going to give uh, more definition even in the recess I will do and make a pin wash in every bolt on this and every recess you have it's and it's going to bring more life the thing but you can see it's so easy to do this uh, just take patience and you get, can get this nice so let me see if anyone asks me something uh, obrigado João Carlos gelo para a próxima obrigado thank you Bill so guys, I see you tomorrow, and I like I always say it's uh, it's between six o'clock and eight o'clock at night. Uh, when I have um, inspiration, I do a video in the morning, like I do today. If you don't see, and you can get go down on my Facebook or just go on my YouTube page uh, and see. All these videos I am doing here, I am going to put on YouTube and you can see later uh, without any problems. I don't see the, the pool, if you make something or not, I will see. Uh, and I will put this every day and I will make a, count, um, a countdown to see what you guys like more to see, ok? So, muito obrigado, até amanhã, já sabem, entre as 6 e as 8. Cá estarei eu mais uma vez para mais um vídeo. Uh, espero que tenham gostado. Não se esqueçam, vão fazendo as perguntas. Já sabem que eu às vezes demoro. São, às vezes acredito são demasiadas perguntas. Eu não me estou a queixar, pelo contrário, ainda bem uh, que eu vou passando toda, tudo o que eu sei, que aprendi com outros e que aprendi sozinho, vou passando a vocês, tá bom? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I am thinking Portuguese. Um, if you have any questions, don't worry, just ask me. I know sometimes I I, I answer too late, but uh, because I received so many messages for on the day, uh, sometimes it's complicated to respond to all. But I will respond if I not. Just ask me again. Okay, send me uh, another message, and I will see the message you sent to me. Okay, so guys. Bye, stay safe, and we see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.